Hey guys, welcome to the next episode on this channel. Today I will talk about a tool that makes my development workflow more efficient and less time consuming. Say goodbye to spending tons of time working with manual dependency management and welcome a less time consuming approach powered by Composer. It is really hard to write a code that is not dependent on anyone but us. Sometimes we need to use some external libraries and we need to find a way to manage them somehow. Composer helps in this. Composer is a tool for dependency management in PHP. It allows me to declare libraries my projects depend on and it manages them for me. It has many useful features, but I will try to describe only two of the most important ones for me. If you are interested in all of them, I insist you to check out the official docs. The first reason why I love to use Composer is dependency management. Imagine you would like to bake a cake and you need specific ingredients for this, like flour, sugar and eggs. In the most problematic scenario, you would have to go to different stores, collect ingredients and bring them back to your kitchen. Sounds boring and time-consuming in some cases. Composer acts as your personal assistant. You provide a list of ingredients you need, so list of dependencies, in the shopping list stored in composer.json. This tool takes this list, goes to the official supermarket called Packagist, fetches the required ingredients, checks their compatibility and brings them back to your kitchen. Kitchen uh, in terms of development is just your code base. So, sounds delicious. Uh, is the situation when someone else uh, cuts all the required ingredients for you and you are able to focus on what truly matter on the development or on the baking. The second reason is auto-loading feature. Imagine a doctor and a nurse performing medical operation. The doctor communicates a list of tools that uh, the nurse organized to be accessed when needed. During the operation, doctor doesn't need to go and search for the tools uh, yourself, they just ask and the nurse gives it. And that's how I see a Composer auto-loading feature. When the tool is needed, when a tool like class is needed, Composer loads the files automatically, making the tool available to use, just like the nurse providing the tool to the doctor during the operation process. So during the development process, uh, I just ask for a specific tool and I get it. I don't need to go and search for the tools uh, myself. I just ask and I get, and that's perfect. Let's imagine that I need to use MPDF library in my project because I don't want to spend the time creating PDF files manually from scratch. So manually, I would have to download all the dependency source code to my code base, download all the dependency dependencies and store them in my repository and load required classes and files. Which of them are required? I don't know. I need to figure it out manually. Installation and version management process also needs to be handled manually. It sounds like a lot of inefficient work. Even the library authors write the following in their official docs. They inform that they don't see a reason why we shouldn't use Composer and if we don't really want to use this tool, we need to be prepared for a lot of inefficient work that Composer would, don would have done for us. So, uh, in the automatic way, when using Composer, I just need to fire one command in the terminal. Composer require mpdf. And that's all. This tool handles everything for me. I can immediately start using the required tool in my code. Will I have to switch uh, the version of library? It's just firing one simple command in the terminal. Huge repository? That's not a problem, because uh, external dependencies are excluded from the repository in git ignore. The information about them is, is stored in the composer.json file. So, I just need to run one command and everything is handled for me. I don't need to search for libraries manually and uh, struggling with loading the correct and required classes. I just run one command in the terminal and I have everything what I need. I can start immediately using the tool that I need in my code base. And that's perfect and that saves a lot of time for me. How to use it? 
Composer is pretty simple tool that should not bring any understanding issues, but if you want to know more, I insist you to check out the official basic guide. I will post the link in the video description. But for now, let's start from the installation process. To install Composer in our environment, we can process the steps described in the official documentations, but I'm lazy and I use Humble for this. I just fire one command in the terminal, brew install Composer, and everything is handled. The tool is ready to use. The next step is initialization. Composer works based on the config provided in composer.json file, so I need to create this file manually and fill with required information, or I can fire composer init function in, in my terminal, which will guide me through the process. Mm, by default, composer loads dependencies from vendor directory, so I need to inform this tool about the code I will be creating. Uh, it happens in uh, line 56789. I inform Composer that uh, they should search for fm namespace in the app directory uh, located in the project's root. Once the configuration is done, I need to fire Composer install command in my terminal to install all the dependencies defined in Composer.json file. This process also will create autoloader that will have to be included in my application. It can be done just by using simple uh, require uh, statement in PHP, but I also wrap the whole process in the file exist function uh, to make sure that no one has uh, forget about firing composer instant function. Simple but really useful, especially if we create environment from the GitHub, Git, re uh, Git repository. Okay, so we, we are almost done. The last step is adding vendors directory to git ignore. Uh, as I mentioned, um, information about dependencies is stored in composer.json file, so we don't need to include all the uh, external dependencies code in, um, our, in our repository. Um, so I can just add vendor directory to git ignore and skip all of them. And that's all. The whole process is done and we have fully working Composer uh, with Autoloader in our project. Simple and really useful. Okay, that's all. Thank you for spending a time with me today. I know that the topic was pretty simple, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. If so, please let me know in the comments. Let me know if you have some questions, some thoughts. I will be pleased to talk uh, about them with you. Uh, please remember to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed this because it will help me to decide what content should I create uh, on this uh, channel to help you. Uh, if you want to stay up to date with the latest content I'm creating, please remember to subscribe to my channel. It also will help me because I will be able to see how many people are interested, interested in things that I talk about. Um, if you have Twitter, please remember to follow me there because sometimes I post some additional stuff, um, so maybe you will find something useful for you. Okay, so thank you again for today and see you next time. Bye bye.